I just had my car dyno tuned. My 81 Malibu, 5.3 LS, 4L80 trans, it's a Gen 4 LS. Okay, so I didn't take a video of loading it on the trailer at my house like I normally do. I didn't take uh, anything on the way down like I normally would. Um, uh, because my nerves were shot and I kind of just needed to listen to tunes and uh, focus on uh, everything and uh, figure out where I was going and all that stuff. So now that I'm in a safe spot on the way home, I'll tell you what happened. So I uh, was able to deal with the tuning shop that's near my work, which was very uh, handy. And um, they uh, were able to fit it in. I got some video of the tuning sort of process. I didn't get uh, close to the tuner himself because I didn't want to have to ask him if I was going to put him on camera and COVID. So uh, I stood outside, masked up and watched. Um, so everything went well. Um, they said they thought it was a relatively clean install, which is good. Um, they don't like my um, shift, it's got the VNM Quicksilver ratchet shifter, and the cable is not really synced with the uh, Prindle switch, they call it, the park reverse neut neutral drive low switch on the transmission. So you have to put it in gear, and it's automatically in drive, and then you have to bump it ahead to put it in overdrive, and that's not right. Uh, so they said that um, if I have some time with a scan tool, I can put the scan tool on it and adjust the cable to match. That's something that I took the best guess at. So um, that might be something that I go see my buddy Greg at Classic Auto Repair in Lindsay and we throw it on the uh, on his lift and screw with it with his scanner. Um, but other because I just have a scanner that goes on my phone, so it's not really uh, that fancy. Um, so that's really it. They, uh, oh, he changed the set points for my fans to come on because they were coming on kind of late. He changed my shift points um, because it's shifting at about 5,400. He has it now where it will go up to 6,000 and then shift if I really wanted to. Um, by the way, 6,000 RPMs on the dyno when you're watching. Oh, heart attack. a performance guy. I am not used to this stuff. Um, talk about uh, waiting for something to break. But they said it's everything's fine. So I'm obviously worried about nothing. That's okay. It's all set up now. They took it for a good road test, which was kind of cool. I didn't know that was part of the deal. Um, so they took it for a road test to make sure it has road manners. Um, find in, fine tune the shift points, as I mentioned, and the fan and stuff. Um, he did say my temperature gauge isn't reading quite accurate. So I did replace the resistor that's in line on the uh, temp gauge uh, because I lost the one that came with the automated kit. And uh, I'm not so sure that, that I got the right size resistor. I'm going to have to really do some homework and figure out uh, if what I got was right. But he said, regardless, it didn't overheat or anything. Uh, it's just it wasn't accurate. I also know I have another issue with uh, my speedometer. Uh, the odometer is turning, so the speed box that I have is working. The little gearbox that's uh, powered from the VSS and GPS signal, it's working. The odometer's turning, speedometer needle, not so much. I think when I took it out for the first run, I broke the odometer or the speedometer needle happens. So I got to get uh, one of those, one of those units. Other than that, it's a pretty good news story.
dino numbers. So the first dyno run was uh, 290 uh, at the rear wheels. So, which is, you know, 360, 375, something like that at the flywheel, which is kind of, I guess, what you'd expect. Uh, so then they jacked it up a little bit, and it was like uh, 309, I think. And it was the final number that they came in with uh, after tuning was 315 at the wheels on the diamond. 315 point something. I will uh, drop in the screenshot of the, uh, the computer screen. Uh, I believe that it was uh, right around 6,000 RPMs. So, you know, it's at the flywheel, 375, 400 maybe? Eh, something like that. Whatever. Um, I'm cool with it. It's good. It's not uh, crazy. It's more than enough power. Sounds pretty neat. Um, should be reliable. Should be a good cruiser. I should be able to... Uh, drive it wherever that's my plan so what's left i've got uh, i'm not sure if i'm happy with the mufflers the mufflers that i ins had installed on it um, i went with the same style muffler that i have on the 57 truck which is like a Flowmaster style of muffler it's a chambered muffler and uh, it was the best guess and i think it's probably too loud uh, in the car it's got a little bit of a drone to it so I think I'm going to switch it out with, for like a MagnaFlow style muffler that's packed um, and uh, obviously two mufflers and do that um, but I don't need to do that now and I talked to the tuning guys and they said it will not affect the tune at all. drive it and improve as I go. They're never really done, uh, but I think it's it's ready to drive now. Um, brought it down on a trailer. I'm bringing it back on a trailer for obvious reasons. Broke, I want to be able to get home. Um, I had other things to do down here today. Uh, so anyways, uh, I'm quite happy. My nerves are, have settled. Um, I had some friends tell me uh, not to worry. Uh, that helped. Uh, but anytime you do a car like this and it's it's kind of out of your wheelhouse, you're going to be a little uncomfortable until it's it's proven. So I'm, uh, I'm happy with it. I think it's going to be good. I'm going to start putting some miles on it. Uh, I'm looking forward to some time off uh, from work the next couple weeks. I will go for drives by myself on my time off, if the weather permitting, and uh, put some miles on this thing, and hopefully uh, feel a little more comfortable with it, a little more sorted uh, when I go back to work in a week or so after my little mini vacation and drive to work. So that's a pretty good uh, shakedown, my daily commute. and. Uh, forward to using it. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. I don't know, there's like 20 on this car. So this is great. Uh, this is sort of uh, ending the chapter on this car. Uh, probably do a summary video later, like a walk around and flash through everything right from the beginning to end. But uh, stay safe, work on your stuff, and uh, Enjoy what you can. Cheers.